It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I worked out the other day that I've never had a Papa John's. There's been a Papa John's in my hometown of Barry for about a year. Never tried it, never had a Papa John's. So I thought, why not? So I go in, here's the pizza. I go in and they have this brand new ooh, quality seal. Oh, I've got to take this sticker off a moment. Yeah, a brand new festive pizza. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at that. That looks absolutely terrific. It's got a, like a, oh, it's to stop the box crushing the pizza. That's very good. So in the pizza, uh, we have turkey, meatballs, stuffing, gravy base and cranberry drizzle. Uh, I was in there as well and they also said um, it's got Brussels sprouts as part of the kind of the the base of the pizza. Yeah it looks really good. I've had uh, Domino's a few times. Oh there's a garlic dip there as well. Let's put the pizza over here and grab some. So there's the turkey stuffing balls a cranberry drizzle, Brussels sprouts, look, carrot. That looks amazing. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> I love sprouts at the best of times, but the turkey stuffing meatball things are just terrific. Mm. This is lovely. The pizza base is just tremendous. Lovely and soft. Mm. It's got a, a gravy base as well. That is fantastic. It's like a Christmas dinner pizza. <laughs> mm. Let's get that. Mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so I'm a newbie to all of this. Um, yeah, never had a, oh, it looks like it's some kind of stuffed crust as well. Never had a Papa John's before. Oh. oh, it's like garlic butter. Mm. It was seven ninety nine. I was passing, so I popped in and sat and waited. That garlic butter sauce is just terrific. Um. So we're one slice in, what do we think? I think for $7.99, the quality of that pizza is just second to none. So fresh, so tasty. Not that expensive either this day and age. $7.99 for a great big pizza like that. Um, that's okay, it's okay. Uh, the beer is a Dog's Window Brewery Santa Paws Black Forest Stout. Silver bottle cap. Pizza and beer. Or Christmas pizza and Christmas beer. What more could you want, eh? This time of year, anyway. You wouldn't want it in July. You'd be just be getting over the previous Christmas. Financially. <laughs> uh, one finger, tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. Yeah, you got the Black Forest. You can get it a mile away, actually. The ABV is 5.8%. Which smells lovely. Like, it's a bit minty and kind of chocolatey. Back in for the pizza though. Look at that 
giant piece of carrot. I tell you what I would be really interested in is trying their kind of like their regular double pepperoni or something like that. That would be really, really tasty. I imagine, not not tried it, uh, uh, first time trying it and I go for a, a Chris, some kind of weird festive Christmas dinner pizza. It's all about the base. Mmm. It really is. It's so fresh. And you know, I made this very point the other day. I've done, this is a, a big chain by all accounts. I did a KFC festive burger the other day, followed by a McDonald's festive burger. And my question was, why, why don't they use turkey? And then within, what, four days, five days? Papa John's, make a turkey stuffing meatball pizza. The cranberry's nice. Adds a bit extra to it. It goes really nice with the cheese. The cranberry and the, the cheese together is lovely. It doesn't feel too oily, doesn't feel too fatty. I say that because for years and years in my hometown of Barry, you just have like like local pizza parlors, and I found the pizzas always were quite fatty, oily. Mm. This is incredible. Oh. That garlic butter for the crust makes all the difference. Mm. Bit messy. Right. 5.8% ABV stout. Nice kind of, as you rock the beer back and forth, carbonation chases the, the head of the beer of the glass. Looks good. Definitely smells like Black Forest Gatto. And quite hoppy. And malty and bready. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, it's lovely. Terrific. It's, it's um, like cherry. Cherry flavoured. The roasted malt comes through lovely. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Malts come through terrifically well. That kind of like cherry, blueberry, raspberry type of flavor is, is really lovely. Black cherries, I imagine. Good mouthfeel. Terrific drinkability. I've let this warm up a little bit. I have, I've got it out the fridge, let it warm up. Um, it's nice to get your stouts at a nice temperature that you start to pull. If you have them too cold, you will lose the, the flavors of the malt. When the beer warms up slightly then, if I was to cradle this beer, of course, if it was too cold for a while, then, then you would get them flavors of the, the malt coming through. Bad me. It's quite carbonated with the with the pizza as well. I'm starting to fill myself up. But a good body, nice sweetness, followed by all that kind of black cherry in the middle, and some roasted malt and some hops on the back end. Fantastic beer. Fantastic Christmas beer. 
It's still November. <laughs> They've like given me I think, is it a chilli? I'm all chillied out at the moment. I, I'm just, I've just had a bit too much chilli going on at the moment in my life with all the reviews. So I'm, I'm gonna leave, unless it's some kind of weird pickle thing. Mmm. Grow that sprout. I'm glad I tried it. Um, would I buy it again? I think if I had to choose this over a, a double pepperoni, I'd probably go with a double pepperoni. I'm a pepperoni pizza guy. This, it's a bit of fun, it's Christmas. It's very tasty. Very, very tasty pizza, but I don't think you would eat it all all of the time. You know, it wouldn't be your go-to pizza order. Would be a Christmas dinner pizza. It's a Christmas novelty. Have you noticed as well? Everything is called festive. When I was growing up, everything used to be called Christmas pizza or not that they existed, but Christmas pies and Christmas time. Now everything is festive. Oh, they have put Christmas on the back. But I think everything's so politically correct these days, isn't it? That you, you know, we can't call a pizza a Christmas pizza anymore. The turkey balls are just getting a bit, they're getting a bit sickly, if I'm honest. They're getting a bit, they're getting a bit too much. It's very, very, the taste of the turkey is quite strong. Um, it's coming through quite prominently. And I suppose that's the battle. When you, when you use fresh turkey, make, make that kind of, that conscious decision if you're a brand to use it. It must be hard to work with because it's a very strong flavour, especially the next day or the day after. And I think that's what Papa John's here have, have struggled with. I think we'll get halfway in. Let's have a sip of beer. What's the matter with me? A couple of years ago, I'm struggling to eat half a pizza. A couple of years ago, I would have smashed this, absolutely smashed it. But I just don't eat as much anymore. No, oh, there's two bits of turkey on this on this particular slice. What I like, let's wrap this review up then, because I think I've been talking for too long about a festive pizza from from Papa John's. It was just, I wanted to share my experience, my first time trying a Papa John's. What do I like about Papa John's then? The, the pizza bases are just fantastic. One of the best pizza bases I've ever had is from this Papa John's. The cheese is nice, the gravy base is nice, the veg is a nice touch. This garlic butter dip is just incredible. That is probably one of the best parts about this pizza. Mm. Because I love the crust.
let's let's round this up. Let's rate the pizza and the beer. A multitude of flavours have hit me from from garlic butter to cranberry sauce to to a gravy base to to Brussels sprouts to carrot turkey. It's amazing on a lovely soft bread. Cheese. It's been a real taste, a taste sensation. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Probably not the the best example of of, of um, going to a Papa John's for the first time and getting hold of a festive pizza. I probably should have got a a regular pepperoni just to see what it's like against other pepperoni pizzas that I've bought in the past but saying that it's Christmas and I thought I'd have a go at it um pardon me I like that enough I'm probably gonna discard the rest <coughs> pardon me probably gonna discard the rest of the meatballs into the dog's bowl I think the dog will eat the meatballs um, they're a bit too, the chickens, are, uh, the turkey's a bit too kind of like next day turkey, if you know what I mean. Um, it's quite, it's quite a strong taste. But other than that, it's a fantastic pizza, it's a 9 out of 10. I love it, 9 out of 10. That, Papa John's, is my new favourite place, I think. Especially when you can drive down there and pick up a pizza for 7 99 As of 2019. Not if you're watching 10 years in the future. Yeah, it's all very good. Uh, the beer, lovely Christmas beer by Dog's Window Brewery, based in Bridgend, South Wales. 5.8% ABV, black cherry, black forest stout, called Santa Paws. Yeah, I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!